I saw the you, you put two three things. I'm like, oh nice, you already like cut stuff and all, <laughs> like full on <laughs> effort. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and I put I put I put uh, this thing all thumbnails also. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah. Full on. Yeah. From now on, every Tuesday with every Tuesday will upload. So yeah. every Friday will record. <laughs> you take yeah, nice. I was like, oh, we can officially like what quit our jobs now. <laughs> we have a career. <laughs> No. We're taking it seriously. <laughs> We're taking it seriously, but this is not going to give us any money for no, sure. Like, yeah, yeah. Forget, no forget one. money. Like, even if somebody, if like 10 people watch it, it will be like, oh my God. Yeah. Lol, Max. Okay, okay. Wait, but officially, hmm. let's start. How do we start it? But <laughs> we don't even have a name still. Yeah. Okay, we have two options. One is something is wrong with us, hmm. which is our like nostalgic meaningful yeah. and then another one is life as we know it which is also nice mm. and i was looking at like uh, if you shorten it it this one becomes the mm. and this one becomes locky <laughs> oh my god <laughs> no 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 i we are overthinking it too this yeah, much yeah, but, <laughs> no i was thinking if i have to change the instagram mm-hmm, handle mm-hmm. I don't want to be life as we know it podcast for such a long time. Yeah, it is too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Sibu is cute only. It's fine. Yeah, we'll keep Sibu. Yeah. We'll just, because it's meaningful enough. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we'll start. Yeah. What should we say? Should we say? <laughs> Hi. Welcome. Lord. Okay. Hi, guys. Welcome to episode two of <laughs> podcast, Sibu. Yes. Yeah. Podcast, so, Sibu, lol. Hmm. I was going to say that let's do like segments in our podcast, okay? Huh. Where one segment will be, uh, what would you do in this situation? Mm-hmm. So each time either we'll uh, write up scenarios and ask the other person, what would you do? Mm-hmm. And, or like in case in the future, somebody actually watches our videos, if somebody submits mm-hmm. a question, we can we can tell them what would we do. Yeah. The thing is, what would... Uh, that makes it more like not advice, right? It's huh. just saying that what would I do? I'm not saying that this is what you should do types. Yeah. 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 So we'll have that segment and it'll be like random scenarios. I'll only be writing most of the scenarios. <laughs> huh. so, but in the future, if somebody wants to share their problems, yeah. then yeah, and that's one segment, okay. Another segment is, uh, yeah, obviously we'll call all of our friends one by one. Hmm. That is one thing. And we'll like ask them to talk about their life. And yeah, that was the one. I thought of something else, but I forgot. You want any other, you know anything else. Oh, oh, I want to ask uh, like whoever comes on our podcast or if, if it's just both of us also, uh, we should talk about like what we're watching or reading or listening mm-hmm. to or any, basically any content if you want to share with. Yeah, like we ask each other all the time, no, okay, like any new realizations exactly. it's basically it's basically that oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. okay yeah, yeah cool. so, but yeah. first we have to do our intros because hmm. literally first of all the podcast intro what is this about is that we don't know yet life as we know <laughs> it <laughs> you know we decided on Jibu. are i meant it's about life ah, as we know it. yeah it is about life as we know it yes. yeah uh, yeah it's basically a variety podcast. We are discussing things which are happening in our lives. As, oh, yeah. Okay. Now let's do the intros. Mm-hmm. So, age. Oh, do you know this Instagram uh, reel trend? It goes, my name, my oh, age, yeah. my favorite. Oh, lol. No, no. This one, this specific one, I don't know. But there have been a couple uh-huh, of yeah. those like that, no? Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, the Jeff Bezos thing. Shows, and it shows up there. Remember the Jeffrey Jeff thing? Are that come on, Jeffrey, you can do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, not, yeah, not it was that. like born in 1990. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so since this is our first official episode of introduce a second episode of the podcast, but finally we can tell you. But you don't <laughs> tell our names, okay? I, I don't want to tell my name yet. Even this though is I like that chat talk. room thing, it's like age uh, ASL. <laughs> So, like, we are 27. Yes. Yes. And 
we went in college in engineering yes. together yeah yeah and we do work in tech companies very original in <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We yes. graduated in computer science <laughs> as do hundreds of people, millions, and then we went and then we work in tech companies like everybody else in Bangalore. Uh, this is getting yeah. depressing. Let's not do that. I know. <laughs> no, like no, this is not our identity. This is just like a part of it. Um, no, but what is our identity? We oh. are INFJs. That's a good yes, detour. <laughs> we we both... took. INFJs. We took the quiz yes. recently again. Everybody should. Sure it's really interesting, by the way. <laughs> yes, everybody drop your MBTI <laughs> in the comments. Yeah. Even though nobody is watching us, but just like we are interested. So even if no, like yeah, let us know. You know yeah. I I put it in one of my in one of our Instagram posts. Uh, yeah, I MBTI. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, nobody there. <laughs> of course. So at least you should. <laughs> It's gonna be sad if we both are the only ones commenting and replying to each yeah. other. <laughs> no, but technically this is like a time capsule thing, right? Yeah, like yeah. exactly. Like to... that was the main goal of the podcast in the first place. We just yeah. wanted to like catalog what we are in this time. So it's like exactly. just for us, it's a journal basically. Yeah, video yeah. journal. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Our conversation. Hey, but it's cute, no? Like imagine our friendship would have changed so much. Yeah. I hope it doesn't change, but. Imagine like if you look back and be like, oh, we used to talk so much about all these random stuff. That would be mm, nice. That's true. Nice and yeah, but have you realized how? Um, like, see, anytime you uh, look back to what your past self did, and you cringe, right? But the yeah. gap is a lot. Like, if I read twelfth standard now, okay, what I'm trying to say is twelfth standard me versus say first year college me, it won't be that much cringe. It will be like okayish. But now that window is shortening, dude. Like I realized that I remember something I did three days ago, and I'm like, oh my god, that was so. I'm like, am I, am I evolving too quickly, or is it that I'm over paranoid? <laughs> it's either of the two. Or, or we're doing more cringe stuff. No, I'm saying like the cringe like ka window has reduced like too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, no, the thing is, we're seeing ourselves too much. Huh. As in. Like before, like uh, how often? Yeah, we didn't have you, time. <laughs> uh, no, also how often would you read your old stuff? Not read. I'm saying just recollect it something. Uh-huh. Or, yeah. And then I'm like, you that is so cringe. Why would I do that? But I'm like, too much, uh, too quick. This is happening. But nice. it's more, uh, then we'll beat it one day. Like we'll be like before doing it only. We'll be like how cringe stop. I hope so because yeah. every day I'm cringe at myself <laughs> because of. Like my work in work situations because yeah. I have to talk now, which I didn't have to do before. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, what did yeah. I say? Okay, I'll tell you. Okay, what happened recently? Yeah. So I'm leaving this project as in like uh, because my whole manager has shifted and all blah blah. Hmm. And so to transition, uh, this my old program manager. She was like, okay, we'll uh, get. Uh, I'll join your scrum call so that I can see how you're running the meeting and all oh, that. Hmm. <laughs> First of all, my scrum calls are like very casual, and like, we just does our work and like we do we don't do anything. Uh-huh. But the, I mean, as work gets done, but it's it. not like we don't follow any process or anything. Hmm. So, but still, I was like, okay, this meeting uh, we'll run it properly and we'll show this that. And they joined, and the first thing which happened was my voice started breaking. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh great! Yeah. Okay, so then I joined back, and yeah. then uh, I was like trying to show her, and then uh, it all vanished. And then they were only doing the whole thing, and yeah, it was <laughs> so strange. I was like, they wanted to learn from me and like figure out how. I... <laughs> they must have been like, what has she been doing? Are uh, it's okay. Uh, yeah. so I'm like, that stuff. Such, mm. such IT problems, but also like uh, so cringe at myself. I was like, mm. "Thank God I'm leaving. Thank God this <laughs> is not like a review or anything. It's just like I'll never yeah. see them again." Type. But this is like classic um, demo car. This thing, no, like it never works yeah. <laughs> in yeah. the demo. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah. Anyway, mm. uh, so coming back to MBTI. Yes. We bought the. We have taken it multiple times, first of all, <laughs> and yeah. apparently. No, no. We originally <laughs> took it like when, when we were in college. We've been the same since <laughs> since forever. 
I took it multiple times in between. Yeah, yeah. I have yeah. also, dude, like the number of times I've been like, am I really INFJ? And then I've taken it. And I'm like, oh, yep, yep, hasn't changed. <laughs> Yeah, only the percentages keep changing, but yeah. That's true, that's true. But you know, the, the messy part, like see, I was, I was going to say that's so cool because it could mean that you are different totally. things also, right? But the hilarious part is my, so the last thing, right? A versus T, turbulent versus this thing. That's where you want it to change and it hasn't. It's like as cute as it was. I'm like, what the <laughs> shit? Like the other things have changed where intuition and this thing and I'm like, what? No. Yeah. It was not the plan. I swear. Yeah. Yeah. And remember, we used to think INFJ is so cool because it's so yes. rare and all that. <laughs> yes. Now we're like, no need to be a special snowflake. No. I mean, yeah, if I would rather be a special thing in like accomplishment in the real world, like, <laughs> like I want to be the best at say some sport or like some yeah. art. This is nothing you're not going to get rewarded for being. Like... And this is not even special. It's just rare. Nah, it's and not. It can be rare stupidity. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh my God, you think we are, oh, this is a nice analogy. Like maybe we are like the divergence in the faction system. <laughs> like we don't, we belong in too many places. We are, like, we are like the anomaly. Like full system should change because of us, basically. Oh, oh, we should oh, break oh. the mold. <laughs> Or we are like we are factionless. <laughs> don't uh, belong anywhere. <laughs> or we are like I don't know whales or sharks or something. So they are there, but it's like if uh, they if they die, then the thing will collapse. But oh, <laughs> lol, huh? but that's a very morbid way of looking at it. <laughs> but. No, no, no. Actually, this is a wrong analogy. I was trying to go for like something very like irrelevant, like jellyfish. Like, uh-huh. it's, like, nothing happens. <laughs> but, it's just, like, but it's just like rare. Right, so, right. yeah. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. for whatever reason, only few of them have remained. Oh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <Okay. laughs> like early ages, <laughs> yeah. some <remaining. laughs> Yeah, I don't yeah. think about it anymore. And also, yeah. I've read lots of articles on how MBTI itself is like not that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, of course. It, it's not take it seriously anyway. No, but that's also there's no need to be like, oh, I would have yeah. the rarest uh, this thing. Like, yeah. no, like no, but, uh, that's another thing. Like, we look for ego boosts in the randomest sources. Like anything we will do, I anything. Said. I said. And also, this whole uh, rare thing, equating rare with cool yeah it's like we were as teenagers trying yeah. so hard to be different yeah then, like i had that whole i'm not like other girls face. yeah like where i was like oh i'm a tomboy so i'm different yeah and like uh, i i listen to this music so i'm different and all that like mm. yeah now i'm like yeah why why I know. Like, how does being different make you better but that phase also cooler? was very interesting because i remember i was very happy that I'm like, oh, different because not girly in the stereotypical mm-hmm. sense. Mm-hmm. But almost overnight, it flips to why am I different? I want. Yeah. That. Like, it exactly. flips. It's it's weird. No, it's just the stories we want to tell ourselves. Like, oh, hmm. okay, we're different. Uh, so, at least, even if we are not fitting in, at least it, it means that we're cool. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. Fine. yeah. But that's the thing. Initially, it bought you so much... Um, pride that you are different and then almost in an instant you are like are but these girls get this or like they are this way i want to be that it's like what changed hello sudden know. switch yeah. yeah but overall like now i believe that being different is nothing to be yeah no you I can't I... it's a ridiculous concept it's like who are you comparing first of all I it's know. that same thing where we are like, are acceptance means defeat. It's like, who are you fighting? There's nobody. You can't exactly. fight the truth, first of all. It's just facts. I know. Yeah. 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 And also, like, being different from ro- what? Like, what, if, you huh? That's at, what... if you look at everybody closely, literally everybody is different in some way yeah. or the other. Yeah. So, you, what, like, you chose one particular way in which you're different from, but like, <laughs> literally everybody is different from everyone. Yeah. So, like, yeah. There's no scale right. only. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, I wrote an article on this, remember that special, special snowflake, snowflake syndrome. Yeah. Where like each snowflake is the same but also different. So that is so cool. That is how humans are. Right? No? Yeah. yeah. So each snowflake thinks, oh, I'm so cool, I'm so different, but like literally everyone is different. Yeah. And yeah. Finally, literally everyone is same. Yeah. I, 
I used to think like uh, everyone is same and all that. I I still in some sense want to be different or want to have a different life and all that. But if you think about it, isn't it like also comforting in so many ways that all humans are the same types? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. There's Because, a but there's a very uh, okay. Not not this. This is very like dark take on it. But there's some uh, there's a term for it, dude, where you. um derive pleasure out of somebody else's misery <laughs> i'll tell you oh my one. god yeah, yeah recently only i saw it no not sadism i'll tell you it it is some weird this thing how But, is that uh, like why why sad no that's what i'm saying i'm saying like because we're all it's comforting that we're all same right that's what i mean oh. it's like a very dark take on that it's like we're no, all I'm... going through like the same shit yeah. so it's yeah. cool <laughs> it's okay <laughs> It's comforting. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's comforting, but overall sad for the world. But like good for me types. As yeah. In, yeah. You know, so many times I have googled like very specific problems. Like, what would, uh, how am I supposed to feel yeah. if this person doesn't <laughs> talk to me yeah. because of this and this? And yeah. then, and then for such specific yeah. questions, like answers have come. Up yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, blogs sure. have come up, and people have described exact same situation. So I'm like, <laughs> and then I'll read that Reddit thread, and it will be posted like some ten years ago. So I'm yeah. like, literally nothing has changed in this world, and everybody has gone through what you have gone Similar through. Similar set of yeah, yeah. Somebody yeah. or the other. I'm like, wow. But like, that's uh, also so funny, you no? Know? It's like we think we are going through something like earth shattering and shit like that. Yeah. You know, like who are you? What do you think you are? Like just exactly. relax. <laughs> Like if yeah. you look at it from an outside perspective, like an yeah. alien perspective, it's like all humans yeah. are so cute, dude. Like going through the same <laughs> stupid problems and like freaking out about it, and then. Yeah. But also, don't you like? I find the internet really fascinating. Like I am so grateful that we're born in this era. Like, yeah. You can like Google any random any, shit. Yeah, that's true. Any random, even that's like true. okay, like normal knowledge, all that. Those are like known things of uh, the internet, but like yeah, feelings specific, huh? Such specific yeah. things, and people respond, and people tell. Yeah, it's people. like the coolest library, basically. It is so, so cool, yeah. like a human library. I'm yeah. like wow. I've seen yeah, like yeah. yeah, especially Reddit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like wow, and it'll be posted like some ten years back, and I was that's like, true. what happened? How did it yeah. kind of work out? Did it work out for you? But yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true, and it's so cool that you don't have to go about doing anything. You just literally you can just be like, oh, cool, then I can implement this. Like, there's exactly. an idea. I try this out, and then I like try ten, buy ten question uh, answers, and then you can try all of them and see which one works for you. Like yeah. wow, like people that's sharing true. wisdom. Like that, like emotional wisdom. I saw, uh, I saw a post of this guy who was twenty six mm. at that uh, at that mm. time, and uh, he said, "I I am not feeling good. I I don't feel like doing anything. Like I've lost interest in uh, any path in life and all yeah. of that." And so many and so many people were asking him to like go to therapy and stuff like mm. that. And then he was like, "But I don't want to do antidepressants." Mm. And I'm like, "Oh my god, this guy is actually going through the exact." Same yeah. kind of like it was very properly described, and I was like, oh, it seems I feel like that's one good thing about writers also mm -hmm. that they are able to put into words exactly yeah. what you are feeling. So it makes makes it like you are not alone in this world, types. Like mm -hmm. this, this yeah, even um, experienced over generations. That's true. Like even telling somebody what you're going through is it's it's a it's an art. You can't do uh -huh. it like we. I feel like we don't do it enough justice. Like you, it's just in our heads. Like it doesn't exactly. translate well to uh, yeah. prose or anything. I know, right? But yeah, that's true. And also, like same with journaling. No, it's yeah. so important to write down what you because yeah. in your head it is like a big thing. But <laughs> it's a if you try to put it into words, then you realize that oh, you have to now force it into a narrow. Mm -hmm. description but that yeah. is all that's why also is therapeutic no it's like because you're trying to figure out these words you're just literally describing how you're feeling that helps with the spiral you're like yeah. now you can define shit so yeah. you can And solve you it sort it down, of ha huh, when you write it down you realize in words it sounds so much simpler yeah in your head yeah that's And the same thing with like, even oh, talking okay, about it though it's like if i voice out my worry or whatever it sounds ridiculous after a point it's like seriously like are you kidding me so yeah yeah, yeah some mm. outlet be any outlet that's true exactly other than crying i used to keep going to crying for i'm like i just need to release <laughs> hey, the crying is also very yeah, useful yeah i love <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
it's such yeah. a nice like yeah you feel good somehow after that i know right it yeah. it is there for a reason yeah yeah yeah, yeah. do other other animals also cry or is mm. it like a human discovery of oh this releases emotions that is so cool right yeah we should look this up actually you yeah, know yeah. imagine yeah. if like our brains developed enough that they found an outlet to like let out yeah, that that way we've done so many things yeah, yeah crazy yeah, complex shit yeah yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but this is like biological right it's not something we have come up with it has just happened Hmm. No, we have like, come up with nothing. Like just evolution. Yeah. yeah. No, for example, language and stuff. It's yeah. like humans who have developed it. So mm, that that's true. Different. At least crying is like a by yeah. That way, evolution has done so many wonders with us. Hmm. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I am obsessed with evolution. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but uh, see, uh, I remember we were talking about that uh, being hyper aware of karma thing, no? Um, mm. So like, as right now when I said, oh, oh, I love crying, and then immediately I'm like, that's not like what I meant. Don't make me like. It doesn't mean I want to cry. See, I don't know why that's happening now. Like more and more. Mm. Are you really becoming like exactly. religious? Um, no, it's not religious. It's just that. It's just that I don't. Uh, I think. we we have we all, we all have these ideas that like this is how we are or this is how this works right and as in when you grow all those ideas are shattered like one by mm. one they keep unraveling and okay. then you're like oh fuck i don't know anything apparently <laughs> so now when i say stuff like i know what i am or like i know how and immediately i'm like no no it's okay i don't want to be tested on this it's fine <laughs> i got it i am learning i'm open <laughs> you believe in a greater power Mm, that's a complicated question, but yeah, it's like I don't, I don't want to define it like with God or religion or anything. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it's comforting again. It's just comforting. Uh, it's you, like oh, something is there. I guess. I think it's just the prayer? symbol of like faith, dude. It's like hope. Yeah. You need a, you need a symbol, no? That's exactly. all. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Do you believe in prayer, manifestation, and all that? No, I don't. Manifestation, honestly, it sounds like like no. <laughs> I I don't buy it. I haven't researched but it enough. But then <laughs> karma, just by your words, hmm. it happens. But manifestation yeah. doesn't. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't know if I think I only pick on the negative side of it, where I'm like, if I do wrong, wrong will happen. But uh, yeah, yeah. I prayer, think that's I, a again, human thing. No. Huh. Yeah. Exactly. Like, negative. Humans pick up on negative bias. Yeah. They they have more yeah. negative bias. But yeah, prayer. So I feel like it's a very psychological thing. It's like you have been conditioned to believe that you will feel good, so you actually do feel good. Mm. So do it. And now I'm like, whatever it takes, bro, to feel nice, just yeah. do it. It's okay. <laughs> not whatever. <laughs> Disclaimer. Not harming. Yeah. Not whatever. Yeah. Not whatever. For anyone. Yeah. Within like reasonable bounds of yeah. sane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, as of now, not harming anybody. Yeah. You just go for it, even if it's like weird or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So that's why I feel like even all these older people are more into spirituality for that reason. It's like by then they want something, they want to believe in something, and you need exactly. more and more hope, right? Because yeah. your life is gonna get little, eat like oh my God. tricky. <laughs> so that's why even when my grandma yeah. also was like, one day also you will come here only. Just she's like, I'm saving you the discovery. Just believe me now. <laughs> I'm like that's that makes. Have. sense <laughs> that's another thing that's happened as we grow up no it's like you are much more open to you are accepting of mm. what elders are saying also like first initial when you're young it's like first thing is dismissive it's like no i know better or it's different. like i am different not i know better i am different you don't know what i'm talking about you are lame now it's like we are all lame <laughs> i will think about it <laughs> I yeah. Think about it. Yeah, we are all lame. That is so true. Like yeah. I, uh, as we grow up, we also realize that adults also don't have anything figured out. But yeah. they know they have ha- figured out coping mechanisms to something, <laughs> yeah. and so you can uh, like uh, just leave your logic. Just uh, leave in some things. It's okay to uh, leave the logic and just mm. believe. Choose to believe in things or yeah. choose to do do certain things for the. feel good of it ha huh, exactly yeah. that's true that's true you don't have to be that stubborn also where you're like i'll do only what i want is yeah. no yeah 
it, no, it doesn't so like, harm we watch we watch action movies where we <laughs> like leave logic no why can't we just believe in like god mm. if it if, if it makes you yeah feel better yeah and also if it's going to help your like close people feel nice then for sure yeah. do it for yeah, sure yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. another thing like we used to be very rigid ki why the why asking thing it's reduced now it's like okay oh my god okay <laughs> now everything it's yeah. like everything is like okay fine yeah. <laughs> fine yeah. no we don't have so much energy to fight like pick your battles <laughs> like the the things which are very important to you is just like fight those yeah. but that's the just be like yeah yeah okay whatever but it's awesome it. though how like it's taking actual literal energy to reduce for us to do this like it should have happened regardless of that no like we should have <laughs> we had so chosen much energy, we didn't know we what? didn't know like where to build <laughs> we should <laughs> have okay, picked the world. right battles then yeah <laughs> So we're like okay we'll fight everything we'll fight the world everything no yeah thing. again yeah. see you fight everything because you want to win and then you're like who are you fighting against man like just for what stop. and for what huh. like, you'll be like no. for what yeah nobody's going to reward you for being this way you will I hate can. yourself also first of yeah. all <laughs> no but we didn't know all that no we were kids <laughs> <laughs> i mean i and also hope. like hmm. yeah also like if you go and tell a kid now kid like just give up Yeah. Then, yeah. Then, like they want to believe uh-huh. you, so. this was another thing we were saying no i remember i was like uh, what is the secret that every adult has kept from us that it's like this like how dare they not tell us before that's that still feels unfair to me i'm like you should have told we could have handled it okay what would they have told dude they'll be like they'll be yeah, like there's that, no purpose in this world uh, there is yes, no hope that line that, that i told you anything from the tv show that i told you that he goes um your life doesn't change you just become uh more comfortable with your core misery and that is happiness it's okay yeah. to say it you know even adults will find it difficult to believe this like <laughs> yeah. they don't want to accept it yeah. that's yeah. the thing about existentialism right for yeah. some people it's like they it's want morbid. it's morbid comforting yeah. for some people it's comforting for some people it's like oh yeah. you're telling me i have no purpose in life then why will i live kill now? myself why? yeah no, don't even tell me this <laughs> not yeah. even tell me. Yeah. so imagine adults only can't accept like kids mm-hmm. so they'll be like No, no not dip. kids. I mean, ha, now we are seeing yeah, I mean, grown up adults. But I'm. Um, we were sort of exposed to that in in our ethics class also. No, we talked about purpose of life, and we did explore. Ki, exactly. No, there is none. Yeah. So that's cool. Like Loki, mm-hmm. we did know this. Now yeah. I think about it way too much for some bizarre. Like yeah, it's like exactly. quarter life crisis hitting full on right now. <laughs> it didn't before. I- Somebody so, told the other day I was talking to somebody and I'm like, oh my god, quarter life crisis, and they're like, this is not quarter, this is midlife only. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, another thing I have to worry about. No, great. Unfortunately, no, dude, we won't be dying at fifty because like <laughs> I mean, yeah. modern technology and all that, <laughs> and also like because we don't want to die, so we'll try a little bit, but. Hmm. Also, yeah. So, but yeah. Now the other day also I was like, "Are you? What if you? You still have this little weird fear of death, right?" Okay. But then I was like, "You know what? What is worse is just living badly." <laughs> so I then know. I'm like, "Pity the living, bro, not the dead." <laughs> Harry Potter. <quote>. Yes. <laughs> In a better context. <laughs> yeah. In a very deep, yeah. morbid context. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, but that's so true. Like you should be scared of living a certain way than death. I think that is our core fear right now. No, that is the that is the theme of the quarter life crisis. Is yeah, like, yeah, yeah, big time. We And should not later regret. Theme is regret. again like regret. So yes, also it's like regardless of what you do, is this gonna stay? That's not an easy pill to swallow. Still, what? What is gonna stay? the the core misery? That's what I was saying. Like you're still no, gonna feel. No, that's of course. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> See again, <laughs> like you've accepted it. No, I still refuse a little bit. Where I'm like, hey, no, you don't tell me. But I know it. <laughs> I know it's we, we, even adults don't want to accept it, dude. Imagine if you go and tell teenagers, yeah. they'll be like. Even if you tell me from four years ago when I just joined office, yeah. I'll be like, oh god. I used to literally judge people who a four year experience. Yes, office. I'm like, what? You robots have just accepted yes. this life. I remember this. You're just gonna, you're just gonna yeah. live like we were, this. Time like, this. I remember them half assing shit and being like, "Iska to kuch return milta nahi hai." वैसे भी why do we put in that? And I'm like, yeah. oh my god, that's such a lame way of being. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> and like, I was well, full on speech. Dude, I should be like, "Arey, but you should do work with like full." 
and now i'm like i will not attend calls yeah. more than i have to fuck you not just that when i first joined i was like oh so you have accepted that 9 yeah. to 5 is the rest of your life i am not going to end up like this kind of all like for sure i'll have figured something out like so i to want to live now only and all that i used to think i used to like how can people just live have they have just accepted life and all yeah. and now we have accepted life and all no it's yeah. like what did you think you would do instead <laughs> there is no alternative like literally no there were two alternatives it was just like too big of a dream like when the kids like i used to be like oh i'll just figure out an alternative traveling life career <laughs> and like i would yeah i mean it is possible i'm not saying that it's not that's the thing that's why you can't say such stuff to teenagers like if you go and tell a four years back me she'll be like oh you also accepted defeat you also accepted yeah. life whereas i have a plan i have actual possibility of this happening and that's why you shouldn't tell also because one out of at least like 100 or something yeah. might actually make that happen so like why do you want to ruin that one possible hmm. miracle no it's not again they, they shouldn't nobody should give different statements ki it will be like this again it's like purpose of life you should pose it yeah. as a question you should be like what do you think i don't hmm. know it should be some disguised way of it should be yeah. a story ha this is one more thing it should be a story that you can deduce shit out of it shouldn't be direct see i'm telling you this wow that's what mahabharat ramayan is there for <laughs> Like they stole some story yeah. to figure it out. Like we that's have so, to write epics so, now. Uh, tricky though, no? That's why I exactly. feel like I'm like, Arey, why? Like... Just tell me, dude, what you found. Like, <laughs> easy. <laughs> and also, like half the people will just read the surface story and like match deduction. Like yeah. what you intended might not. Who, who knows what the actual writer yeah. intended? Do no, that. again, now depends yeah. on how well a storyteller or something you are and how smart you are also. Uh, <laughs> you, that's what like you can just listen to it as a entertaining thing and leave it off or then you can question your entire life only based on yeah. <laughs> what is like doing. inside out that movie is mm. like properly made for kids who want to just see and be like but yeah. there's so much psychology but i like, wonder so i want to ask some kid what they thought thought of that movie dude because it is still a majorly like adult serious stuff How? only it's very cute and funny. no because they like, use a lot of technical terms and all right like kids like won't what? even understand like they cog the they use like um, abstraction and like um, uh, deja vu and like they're they big, show, big they literally show uh, the cartoon what meaning is i'm so pretty sure but like, kids okay, yeah kids wouldn't have yeah understood half that's of the it anyway thing. no that's the whole thing mm-hmm. they just see it like uh, on face value and enjoy it like dreams they mm-hmm. show dreams and then abstraction yeah. they show that them becoming like 2d characters yeah, 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 yeah. and all of that which is mm-hmm. literally what abstraction But I'm saying is still like, it is it's very the, it, like i'm saying it they haven't made it that non obvious also there are many technical terms that kids are I just going to be like it. yeah whatever like something this <laughs> yeah. yeah oh my god so we should be the adults and not kids in like yeah in, i like that yeah. i like I like uh, that kind of shows and movies which have like double meaning as in like yeah, 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 one yeah. deep meaning in one like literal. But uh, remember like even Frozen 2 I didn't like that movie because it was being all it had darker Depressing. themes right like yeah. you have aged now and they have to do the right thing I'm like and she died. I come to Disney for chilling bro like don't make me question my life here like why are you doing this I remember we were uh, we went to Frozen 2 and we were standing in the <laughs> with all like children and like their mothers yeah and we're like which group do we relate to more <laughs> we don't know <laughs> everyone was uh, discussing the moon and we like uh, that's like the definition of 20s okay some of us are still kids and some of us are having kids like <laughs> this literal analogy oh my god or both like we're yeah, having both feel like a kid yeah, yeah. <laughs> crazy yeah like see like i have friends who i tell ki i went to my friends Uh, kids birthday who are like ha okay what did you get or anything and then i have another group of friends who are like your friends kids birthday like there's like a freak out i'm like i swear I man <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah like with this group i'm like i swear i know right and with the other group i'm like what gift should i get them like <laughs> what's an appropriate thing <laughs> we're stuck yeah. in limbo soon we are we are some also my change right that is so like do you think we'll wonder- always be in transition like that like it'll be interesting to be in transition all the time no to be like hmm. no oh yeah yeah this. for sure i said life has so many like transitions right constant dude yeah so of course we'll always be in transitions 
but now is like the special like big transition uh, after that it will be like your kids transition not your <laughs> Oh yeah, that's another yeah. thing I remember. Like we used to discuss about marriage and kids and all that, right? And both of us, I think, were you always, I think, wanted a kid, and you're like, that's the only purpose of being married, which I don't agree with. Yeah, anyway. yeah. But yeah. Uh, I used to be like, I'm definitely not having a child because too many cons are there compared to the pros. But now yeah. I'm like, I am definitely having it. I cannot deal with myself <laughs> for any longer. I need a project. <laughs> I need a twenty-year project. No, I ha- yeah, I was looking at so I was looking at the swimming pool from here, and there was hmm. like a uh, like a mom with two kids who she was hmm. floating them in the. Oh. And then it was so nice to watch, and then yeah. I, that, that's when I realized. So like it's like experiencing secondhand joy. Like that's why mm. people have kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Things, new things have stopped happening for them. Yeah. In their lives. yeah. So they get to see their kids having new experiences, like the first time swimming and the yeah. joy of like first time. So it's. That's the only reason, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, <laughs> even marriage. No, it's like we thought we'd be okay without it, like for mm-hmm. sure. And now, four years down the line, we are bored. Literally, there's no other reason for us to want to get Don't married. Not that. no other reason, <laughs> but that's the thing. We need constant change. That's why people yes. invented these like progressions. No, exactly. Yeah. It so is there for a the reason. Huh. <laughs> marriage also you'll do. Then you'll be fine. Yeah. Three, four years, five years, maybe. And then you're like, "Are now we need so now what?" <laughs> Then you're like, okay, kid, yeah. it's gonna keep happening. And you know, if you tell this to younger people, they'll be annoyed. Yeah. They're like, oh, yeah. so to ten standard, twelve standard marriage, kids, yeah. like, your life is yeah. all void. And now, even I used to be like that. I yeah. was like, simply people just went along. I'm like, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason for it. There is a reason why they have put. I mean, of yeah. course, nobody should be forced into anything. Yeah. Whenever. Like, do it on your own timeline. This that. But I'm saying these options are there. for a reason <laughs> yeah yeah But, the it's the it's like something is cliche for a reason no they yeah. didn't just happen because everybody right. was hoodwinked into believing one thing yeah. like it's tested i mean some things are like that but this is not <laughs> i i think yeah. yeah i mean but of course it's all about choice and everything like i yeah. i still like i have believed that i could be also like really happy without hmm. marriage okay so still i like, believe that like even though it's like 20% now yeah but in in that 20% i do believe that if i had other uh things working out for me hmm. then i could that is totally fine that's true but i feel like without, uh, it's like you are paying some sort of a price either way so it's okay yes, you just pick sure. your poison and go with exactly. it exactly yeah. it's like what are you willing, willing to, to yeah lose and yeah. yeah yeah that's true that's true mm-hmm. yeah but yeah, think- but also like again dude it's such a literally like we're programmed to want and need people right it's like why would yeah. you think you want to fight that like just accept it true, 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 true. but i'm just saying that like people also there are multiple ways Of having uh-huh, this, like of friends and community, and then you again, I feel like, like this is like a are... simple, not simple, but a tested way, basically. Like uh, this, this is, is default. Like the, uh, uh, this is just a common way. Yeah. yeah. This is the common way, mm-hmm. and if it is possible for you, go for it. Types. Remember, we're discussing about college also the same way. So, like, college mm-hmm. is not necessary to be yeah. smart or to ha- do something or to have a education, but Yeah. If you can, if you can afford it, and if you are in the privilege to yes. have it, it is a b- very good luxury to have because just that environment is going to do things for you. Just like just being in an environment where everyone's learning, where things are going on, or just exactly. being there is going to is going to do things. So not, but not saying you should take like student loans and all just to have that experience. But mm-hmm. if you can, then it is a good experience. That that's I think like many things apply. the same logic it's like if you can mm-hmm. if you want to then i wonder what the student loan analogy is for marriage <laughs> do i don't mean? know no like you were like <laughs> if you can afford it do it right so yeah. i'm like what what was the loan thing to be married it's like maybe getting no, married to it's anybody like, like uh, being desperate I, for it or something uh, exactly yeah. or it's like don't do it if uh, if it means that you're going to have a bad uh, as in like yeah like you said don't settle mm-hmm. number one and also like don't do it if out of force like mm-hmm. oh because it's like a 
everybody has to do so i have to do so i'll get a student loan to do it type so mm-hmm. don't, it's like don't do that because of that yeah that that's the only thing by the way we should okay. talk about uh, free will sometime because i remember yeah. like you said forced no i'm like yeah free will yeah, let's talk no, about there is no force <laughs> yeah. yeah no there is no free will yeah mm. but yeah in another episode yes <laughs> i have, I have a list <laughs> if we sit like this we can talk for like 12 hours straight there's no I know, like right? there's yeah. no ending we yeah. need to like define what happens in which okay okay next episode we'll talk we'll do the 36 questions only ha huh. okay today's intro so we talked about <laughs> when we met which was in college we And this how... was not intro <laughs> this was another random thing how oh, okay okay let's record this one thing where uh, we say please like comment it so <laughs> <laughs> yeah so please like comment and subscribe <laughs> and to our channel and uh, follow us on instagram <laughs> <laughs> i love this and basically nobody only asked hey share with your friends and please do it.